since me and Rich broke up, I took some time to kind of get myself together. And on that journey, I met a girl named Sin Santana. There's a real special connection between me and Sin. And it's been a very long time since I felt that way. And put the cherry on top. She's beautiful and sexy as hell. I know you like Chipotle, but I figure I'll bring you here somewhere a little bit different and sexy. It's nice, but we should have gone to Chipotle. I feel like <laughs> getting dirty. I know that's your spot, but I wanted to bring you somewhere different. Why Everything. are you blushing? I like you way too much, and that's the scary part. That just makes me blush. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it's different. I haven't felt like this in a long time, so. Oh, so flattering. <laughs> you know, I've never dated a girl. I know, you told me. I'm like in shock right now. What do you feel about it though? Like, I don't feel like running away from you because our friendship is so like, it just clicks. Like, I've never like had a girl confess their love like this. I've never been on a date with a girl. Never, there's never been a candle. Well, there you go. That's why I wanted to bring you here instead of Chipotle. I love Chipotle, <laughs> though. We should go there after this. We'll go there another time. On the real, um, I have different feelings for you, too, you know? So, we can see where it goes. That's know? all I want. But you have to promise me something. Why? We have to remain friends no matter what. No matter what? You promise? I promise. OK. <laughs> it's understandable that Sin's hesitant. I'm hoping that with time, I can win her over. I have no idea where this is going or where it's heading, but right now, I'm so down for this ride. It'll ultimately end up somewhere good, even if it is friendship, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna fit that too, too much attention. You're your eyelashes. You're such a brat. <laughs> I'm used to getting what I want. That's why I wore this dress for you. Your boobies are great. Yours is too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hi. This is Sin, my girlfriend. Who are you? Oh, nice to meet you. I love your hair. This is your what? My girlfriend. OK. Her wife. Y'all look like twins. <laughs> we look like sisters. That's weird. A little awkward, but OK. Mind. It's beautiful. I don't mind. It's oh. like I'm with myself. Oh, oh, oh. We good to go. We good okay. to go. All right, have a drink, and I'm going to come back and see y'all a little bit. OK. Oh my gosh, she's so nice. I want to talk to you guys a little less noisy. Let's go back there. But I don't want you to feel weird. Ooh, yeah, a little bit, because you know so much about what happened with Rich, because I confided in you. No one's ever given me the opportunity or wanted to help me with the music stuff as much as he did. I don't think he's any good for you. I really don't understand how he's in his business. And then he always has people in his ear that just like, it's weird because the same dude, this Peter Gunn guy. Who is that? Corey Gunn's his father. Okay. Peter was sitting there and like stalked my page because I would do gigs without Rich knowing and he would go to Rich like, oh look, she's hosting here, man. Oh, don't mix business with pleasure. People need to mind their business. That's what he needs to do. And, if that's, that and is this is why I told you, I don't know how he did this music <laughs> being so sensitive. You're always listening to people. What I will say, he's a loyal ass dude. He's not the only person in the world, please. about the strip club, finally. Y'all need to get together and do a little collab. We tried that. We <laughs> went down that route. It didn't work. Hey, it was, but what happened? It's just two strong personalities, you know? This is really cute, actually. What you did today? I've been getting stuff together for the calendar, but um, there's actually something I've been wanting to t talk to you about. I don't like that. <laughs> when you say that, it's never good. I met with Rich. You met with Rich and you didn't tell me. <laughs> no, because it was a business. It was a real, like, serious business meeting. Like, I don't want to hear about Rich. And it's not even on some like, oh, I'm jealous, like, that's your ass. No, I know. Like, no, I know. I just really don't like what he did. Why do you need him? You don't need that guy. And I'm not the only one that feels like that. And that's what I want to talk to you about. Um, homegirl Nia Lee called me. 
She's calling you for? She wanted to speak to you. So I think y'all should both sit down, like two grown women, and talk. I don't want to do the song with her. We clearly butt heads. I feel like the way she talks and the way you talk, it, it just clashes. If you want to come into this music industry, you want to come in on some cool sh for everybody. So just don't burn bridges with nobody, because you never know when you're going to need them. OK, so speaking of burning bridges, we shouldn't burn our bridge with Rich, either. Give it a chance. Clear oh, mind. Oh, sh <laughs> she used it against me. <laughs> Listen, if you feel like, yo, I need this, come. Come with me so you can see. Like, just sit down right there and just I watch think, us I work. I think, yeah. I said, I'm going to follow you, like always. But when some bull <laughs> happens, you better run away from me, because I'm going to be like, I told you so. <laughs> I told you so, you didn't listen to me. This is one of the main reasons why I mess with Sin. She's a ride or die, and she keeps it 100. Her opinion does mean a lot to me, but so does my loyalty to Rich. And somehow, I gotta make this work. So if I gotta punch Naya on her face when I meet with her, I could be like, I told you so! Because no, that's not necessary. We don't need to do none of that. We sit down and we talk. Hey, baby. Hi, babe. I missed you. Missed you too. <laughs> Why are we shopping for bathing suits? You wanna take me on another romantic dinner on the beach? It's very much so possible. You just never know. As long as there's Chipotle, I'm Pink. good. <laughs> I'm doing the calendar, and I finally picked the country. It's so a suitcase. I picked Panama. We're we're going to Panama for real. Do you wanna come? Yeah, yes. I wanna go. The grand prize is. It's a grand prize. I won't have to work so hard because I'm gonna have this person come with us to do all the like hard. Shh. Okay, so what, Rich is coming too? Yeah, she's gonna come because she's gonna help me handle everything. I'm allergic to corny people. <laughs> <laughs> Came back from Panama and we just had the most amazing time together. While in Panama, we did a lot of relaxing, but yet there was a lot of work. So I decided to treat Sin to a spa day to kind of ease her back into her day to day. Panama was amazing. You had fun? I had a great time. Thank you for taking me. No, but I'm really glad, glad you came because we've been spending a lot of time together and. Too much. I'm getting tired of it. <laughs> Lies. Never. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm glad you brought me, though. I think it was necessary, because you were there, and the time we spent was, I don't know, it... It was special for me. Panama by far brought me and Sin closer than ever. I gotta admit, I'm really falling hard for this girl. I know I will always have feelings for Rich, but what matters to me right now is enjoying my time with Sin. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm not letting her go anytime soon. You know I've never been with a girl. It's very new to me, and... You've taken it real easy with me. It's no pressure. You understand where I'm coming from. And never in a million years did I imagine us being here now. You're smart. You're funny. You make me feel good. And I could honestly say that it's something that I've never felt before. Oh, you're to make me all cry. <laughs> I, like, I like where this is going. I want to take it further with you. You know, I'm like, Falling in love with you. I don't know, it just feels like with you, like I have a best friend, that I also have a companion, and then I have somebody that like I can relate to. You've given me calmness and I'm, I'm you know, I'm at peace a little bit. I don't know, even if we don't end up together, I think I will always know who you are and what you've been to me, and that alone is gonna help me keep you in my life because we can help each other. I mean, you've done a lot for me in a short period of time and you probably don't even realize it, but. What was the promise? The very first date. That no matter what, we'll still be friends. Well, just know, I really do love you, Sam. Oh, I do. you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> I'm on the set for my show magazine cover shoot with my girl, Sin, and I gotta admit, modeling next to my girl makes being sexy very easy. All right, ladies, let's take five real quick. Okay. After Panama, we've fallen so hard for each other. Sin was the ultimate support system out in Panama. So I wanted to give her something just to let her know that I really do appreciate her. Look inside my boobs. I got a surprise for you. Look inside your boobs. <laughs> your favorite boob. <laughs> what the f is this? For you. 
It's the same chain you have. Oh, babe. I'm trying not to butter her up with all these presents, but now that me and Sin are on a different level, I can't keep secrets from her anymore. I gotta let Sin know about this contract that I signed with Rich before things get messy. So remember how I told you I was going to the studio and I'm gonna still, you know, work on the music and stuff like that. Okay. And I told you that I was still gonna work with Rich. I don't like this already. But you know, when it comes to stuff like this, it's legal stuff, like you gotta do things properly. So while you're signing with him, yeah. I didn't think you would mind too much because I know that you know, like, you told, I know what I mean, I'm doing. You told me you were going to work with him. I thought you were going to do a song or two. But as far as signing? Because the last time that everything happened the way it happened is because I wasn't signing. I trust you. I just don't trust him. The minute he passes the line, which I know he is, you stop him. Or I will. I don't want to bull Like, let it be just music. Just music? No I'm serious. I don't want just be to extend the app. Okay. Ta da! A studio. Yep, this is where I work. I wanted you to hear the song, the infamous track that Mr. Rich Dollars got for you. <laughs> this shit better be good. So, this is the song, reference track. All right, play it. Rich to record my new song. And I decided to bring Sin along with me. I want her to hear the song and love it as much as I do. Regardless, I was gonna come clean with Sin. But after talking with Albie, I realized that now is definitely the time. I can't have Sin in Rich's presence without even knowing what's been going on. I like it. All right, that's dope. Rich helped you with this, like finding the song. Like, mm -hmm. I'll give that to him. That's a dope song. I'm not gonna lie to you, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, regardless of what you feel about Rich, at the time when I was with Rich, I really wanted it to work because I really did feel for him. And you know, I'm always that's what like relationship. Yeah, relationship. And when he brought the track to me, he was saying everything that I wanted him to say, like that. And caught up in that moment. It was just a kiss. Erica. <laughs> no. No, no, listen. no, no, wait, wait. No, I'm serious. For real, for real. Like, my heart just dropped. No, Sin, don't do Erica. that. Erica. Erica. That's f***ed up, Erica. No, but it wasn't. What, it what means it... nothing. I swear to you, it means nothing. I have to laugh, because if I don't laugh, OK, so now what? And, and you signed to this mother And you want me to be OK with that? No one's perfect. I'm How not I... perfect. It's not about being perfect. It's common sense. You're clearly not over rich. Are you confused? Do you not know what you want to do? Like, what? I do. do I do. I want is your you. Heart, I want you. Is your heart still there? No. Your heart isn't there. You're over rich. But you're still kissing the I need you to know that I'm remorseful. I understand I fed up. And I, at the end of the day, I'm not trying to lose you, Sin. You know how I feel about you. You know that. You know that I, no, I don't want to hurt you. Oh, to be honest you with you, know how I feel about you, Erica. But I, I don't want to hurt you, man. So I, I had to tell you. you. I had to tell you it matters. Like you you were supposed to be me. my bitch, Erica. I am. You were supposed to be my bitch, and this is what the f you do in the studio, Erica, Sing. really? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, and I need you to know that I'm sorry. It was just a kiss. It was just a kiss, no more, no less, I swear. It was just a kiss with Rich. I trusted you, Erica. I trust you. Look at me. You're not working with this. If you're gonna work with him, then we done. And you're gonna, you're gonna have to pick. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. What are you doing here? My record. My studio session. It's like really, Erica? Erica, I'm talking to you. This is what the we're doing, really? He, I told you I was here to record the song. He has nothing to do with it. Erica, he has nothing to do with y'all kissing? What the f does that mean? Um, uh, what are we doing about well, this? Are you, are you confused? No, yeah, I'm confused, because this is my studio session. And, and I'm about my business, and, and this is what we're you doing. You about your business? Really, yeah. you about yeah, your business? Absolutely. Can see my girls being about your business? Are you long. I'll lend it to you for a minute. Yo, shut the f up, You shut the f up. Shut the f up. Hey, yo, get out my session. No, don't talk Get out my f up. 
session. I'll stay right here. I'll stay right here. You're not gonna do that's shit. Your, that's your. You're not gonna do shit. Personal. I'm here on my record. I'm here about my. Hold on. This is my session. All right, can give me five minutes, please. No, y'all can take this across the street to TGR Fridays to the Chinese restaurant. This is my. This is my session. I pay for this. Five minutes. Five minutes. Kissing your girl and managing her and doing whatever. Please. Give me five minutes, please. You can give five minutes. I do what I want to do. Leave. I do what I want to do when I want to. It ain't even personal. Respect. It ain't even personal. How the you mean respect her? This my session. Okay, both of y'all get out. Rich. Now both of y'all can get out, Rich. and you can tell her to give you the record. This has nothing to do with you, Exactly, so why the f*** you call that? If I, if I stay here, if I stay here, I'm gonna smack Hand him. I don't business. wanna smack him. Handle your business. This has been literally the best birthday I've had in a long time. Me going all out for you right now is just a taste of what's gonna happen consistently. You know what I want from you? A thousand percent loyalty. One thing about me is I haven't, I haven't always been dealt a their card when it comes to my relationship. I'm over rich pesos. I'm not gonna take any chances of jeopardizing this, point blank clear. My guard is it. all the way up now. I get it. Like the is up here. And I put myself in this place. Come over here, let me ask you something. Are you confused? <laughs> Shut up. No, I'm being serious. Are you still in love with him? I'm not confused about nothing. I know what I want, I want you, and we're gonna make this happen soon. And I know I up, and I need you to trust me when I say, look me right in the eye. And I'm gonna make sure that you don't have to feel this way ever again. I don't want you to not trust me. No, stop. Don't cry, we're not doing this. We're not doing I this I want here. you to be happy and I know I hurt you and that bothers me. What I told you in the beginning, if he's gonna let you down and I'm gonna pick you up and be like, I told you so. You know I love you though, right? I know. I love you so. Hello. Hi, what are we doing? What's up? Nothing. I was just talking to him. This is not what I came here for. No, it's not. So listen, this is my manager. What did I do to you? I don't even know you. You want to sit down and have a conversation? I think we should sit down and talk. I said all along, I don't have a beef with Santana. I don't know her. She's just some chick from Dykeman. But it seems like she has this beef with dollars, and I just don't know where it comes from. If Sin wants to talk, I'm more than happy to. I have nothing to hide. But what I'm not going to tolerate is some slick So wasn't really with the whole rich thing. Cause I don't like that corny you did. I thought you was a corny dude. I still think you're corny for what you did. All right. I don't know much about the music industry. Let's just start okay. off with that. Okay. But your lips ended up on her lips. So if it's business, why are we in the studio kissing? Yeah. What kind of contract did y'all sign this time? Yeah. I just True. need you to respect this line, you feel me? So how's my beautiful family? Are we celebrating? I've wanted this moment for a while because we need to make this work. I don't want it to be any drama. There isn't, there's no drama. Just as long as the line isn't crossed, that's it. We're moving forward. Let's just like make this work. Can he say something? Cause he's just sitting yeah, there looking something stupid. Right just staring and laughing and bopping his head. Yo, she's lightweight, hostile. What's been happening with us and me on her back has been disrespectful and I owe her that. Like, yeah, but we don't gotta do that right now. We're, listen, we're good, okay? We, we, we spoke. So y'all go, we're we good? Get this on a popper. I still think he's corny for what he did, but I think it's all you're a bird for who you are. <laughs> How many times you gonna call me corny? Yo, and the reality listen, is, listen. I let you borrow Erica, you <laughs> ride. We're not gonna talk about yeah, Erica. Hey, 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 okay, hey, we're gonna hey, do that. Hey, 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 because I don't know how long you yo, think you you're gonna throw be a jazz. Bitch. And you was just good five minutes Shut ago on fucking shit. Bird. Rich, really? Yeah, control your bird. She's not a bird, bird Rich. back in the cage. Rich, she's with not a, a daily bird, news under. Her. So stop. Well so ordered stop. ride. So stop. Found that stop. in the back of the double XL. So you think I don't know? Rich, Sina? leave. Don't talk like that. Rich, leave. Since then. Rich, leave. Baby, Brilliant. Control your bird. And this she's never not a bird, she's Rich. A so bird. Stop. Was that supposed to hurt my feelings? Can I talk to you? Oh, yeah, no, we, we definitely gotta talk. So you f***ing rich or not? Not f***ing rich. Have, don't, don't make me look like a fool, Erica. I'm serious. I'm not I've f***ing never, rich. I've never been more serious than I've been life. up your ass since the time I came at you. And you know this. You've been up my ass since day one, and you were still in the studio dealing with the 
So what the what the f does that mean? Why you got this coming crazy? You know what I don't understand? No. It was about me, and then it became about y'all. I'm selfish because it's your night. I'm supposed to sit there and let her say, yeah, my all in your bitch's mouth. I lend her to you. And I gotta be OK with that? We're at her show. Let me be nice. Let me be nice. Now, f that. I'm tired of being nice. And I'm tired oh, of for the fighting. You put and yourself in this predicament, Erica. If you were still f***ing with the f why the f*** you brought me into the sh I didn't ask to be here. I didn't ask you to f make me your girlfriend. I didn't ask you for none of this sh I'm sick of it, Erica. I've been taking it for you for the sake of your f***ing career. Be nice, be nice. Rich this, rich that. I tried giving him a chance to look at what the f*** he does. He crossed every single f***ing line. I better not see that I better not see that Erica has a bad habit of defending Rich. I definitely don't trust old boy, and Erica ain't too far behind either. Erica's always like, oh, I don't like fighting, I don't like fighting. So why the f you still got this fool in your life? F blows up every time he's around. And if she can't see that, then I'm not seeing her. What do you want, Sin? I need some time, and you need to figure out what the f you're gonna do with that You're gonna do whatever you want to do. You are a grown-ass woman. But you can deal with it by your self. I'm not dealing with Rich. Erica, please, please, for real, for real. I, come on, Erica, that was stop. Them. Stop. Look at me. Erica, stop. That was then. Stop. stop. Sin. Erica, stop. Santana. I don't know what's going to happen I'm not between us. With, I'm look not at me. I'm not I don't know what's going to happen between us. All I know is at the end of the day, like, I'm not going to hurt you. And I don't want to hurt you. It's All like I want to do. Vela, like, what the f? Why, Erica? I'm sick of it. I'm so sick of it. I'm over this. So here I am, I've been backstage with Erica. She's super nervous about her performance, but I know she's gonna kill it. But now I have to fulfill the other half of my promise and go play nice with Senor Pesos. Hey guys. Hi. How are you? Hi, boo. Hey, Rich. Same. Furry, furry, I see you. These boots, aren't they cutie? Oh everything. my god, they're everything. You look gorge. No, if Why I- Why does every hair kind of look good on you? Down, no. Don't take it. I'm just going to pull them off. Just keep going. <laughs> I'm excited to see Erica. I haven't even heard the song, so I'm, I'm excited. It's dope. The song is dope. Is it? Is she going to strip? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you, you what said. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, I said I'm about my business. Last year, you didn't sign the contract, you don't get the record. This year, you sign the contract, you get the record. I'm just a little, like, you know, I don't know if you can have a conversation right now. I don't know how you're feeling, but... I'm, I'm fine. You're a grown man, and you know that Erica is not involved with somebody else. And I don't think you respect our relationship. I'm trying to understand where my disrespect lies. If Erica chooses to kiss me, to f*** me, talking about to that. do... Okay. I'm not talking about that. All right, so what are we when, talking about? What do you mean, f*** me? If Erica chooses to have relations with me, Yo, yo, come on, are we really going to have this conversation? Do you really want to do this? I mean, you mad because what? Who's mad? All right, so you happy. So if you happy that we kissing and and hanging out and doing Who's what we though? Who's f***ing? Why you keep saying that word? What? You know what I'm saying? With me and Erica Huh? I'm saying that me and Erica What do you mean you and Erica's I'm getting hot. Yeah, go outside and get some air. Where's Erica? I don't know what the f is just talking about, but what he's saying better not be true. Erica already f***ed up once, and I gave her a second chance, so there better be a good explanation for this one. One for dollars, zero for sin. Let's play this game, mother Really? I need a room. I need a room. Come over here. What is this that bitch says that you're still I'm talking to you. Hold talk on. To, I want it first. First of all, no, talk to me first. Sin. First of all, I need Close to Close the door. Close the door. Let me talk. find out what's talk going to on. Talk to me first, because I'm not doing this, Erica. I'm not. Why? You let him disrespect me, always. So now he sits here and tells me that you're still I'm not, no. You're going to tell, you're going to give me. let me find out what the is going on. First of all, I just you're came up he's talking about right no, now? No, I'm not doing this, Erica. You're not doing I'm what? Not. I cannot deal with this bull I can't. I can't. You talk about how me and you are here, you're clearly still in love with this If I was in love with him, I would be with him. I'm not doing this at your event. And he he doesn't name. give a about you. That's 
That's why every time we're at one of your events, he does what he's doing now, disrespecting me. I'm not doing that, Erica, I'm not. You go handle that, I'm not, I'm not dealing with that bull I'm not. But you know what, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna go out there, right? Talk your and then defend him tomorrow to me and we're gonna keep doing this over and over and over again and I'm not with it, I'm not. I'm not with it. So I'm done. I'm done with this bull I'm done with Rich. I'm not beat for this I'm not beat for it. Of course, Rich's weak ass has to ruin the one day that I'm in the spotlight. I just finished my big performance, and the last thing I would have thought was that Rich would go out his way, not only to ruin my night, but try to ruin my relationship with Sin. So this is what we do tonight, out of all nights? This is how much you care about me? Slow down, relax, slow down, it's a good day. This the kind of you bring to my spot right now? This the kind of energy, this is kind of drama? Clearly you don't care, right? Just, just admit care. it, so that I can stop giving a Because once you admit it, then I can really seriously throw all of this away. Because this is not worth it to me anymore. Mina. It's too much drama with you, my Every time I'm in a situation that deals with you, it's something. Like, let me get a break for once. I'm sick of fighting. I'm sick of the drama. I'm sick of the bullshit. I just want to move the on from it. Then God bless you. Then God bless me. And exactly. God, God bless me. I'm so tired to the point that, like, I really don't. I'm You're not where you want to be. I'm done fighting, and I'm done with you. Clearly, this is where I want to be, because if I wanted to be elsewhere, I would have rich. You don't make me happy, and it's because of shit like this. You're selfish. So stop me. You're selfish. So stop me. I'm done you. How be fatter than your mother? Erica's not gonna play me like no fool when we were just kicking it at my crib just one week ago. Let's look at our recent history. She tells me she loves me, she asks me to love her, all while she's dating someone else. Then she hits on me multiple times in the studio, then she calls me to smash. You know what, I'm sick of Sin trying to tell me what it is, and Erica trying to play me like I'm the bad guy. There's no way I'm letting either one of them have the last word on this one, and that's for damn sure. Now I gotta go do me. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. There's no turning back with Rich and I. I'm completely done with him. It's the same this cornball pulled last year. He with my head, my relationships, and my money. I refuse to ever let him get away with it again. And tell your bitch, I'd rather send than you anyway. You just mad because I'm better than I ever you. My record, my life, everything is Richie Dallas. God bless you. You know how we roll. We're both gluttons for punishment. At the end of the day, we argue, we fight, it is what it is, but somehow she always seems to find her way back to me. This isn't the end of Erica and Richie D, because at the end of the day, mama, you're nothing without me. Let her go, let her go, let her go. I wanna be my mama self. I don't give a about none of them. None of them! Given all that's happened and gone down, are you still willing to work with Rich? It's so complicated. What y'all don't get to see a lot of the times is me and Rich, we have a dope connection, and I think that's why we've lasted so long. But at the same time, it's, it, you know, it's just, there's more to us, you know what I'm saying? So, I think the business stuff, we're good. It's just everything else that's complicated. Now, Sin, how would you feel about Erica working with Rich? You know, I'll give him his credit. He is good, and Erica really wants this music thing, and I support her 100%. So if she feels like he's gonna get her where she needs to get to, then I'm there. Like, I'm on her corner all day, but it has to be just business. You can't keep me, you can't bring me out when you want and keep me in a corner when you wanna with Rich. You can't do that. If y'all love each other, then either be with each other or don't and just work. Like. I, I, you, you can't put me over here and be like, yeah, I love you. Come sit on daddy's lap and you sit on daddy's lap and come to me like, oh my God, I love you. I'm so sorry I did that to you. And it's like a circle, like I'm sick of it. 
I can't keep dealing with it. And like, you can't expect me to sit here and have him tell me, yeah, we're still f***ing. And I just sit here like, okay, cool. No. No, because I don't like sharing. I'm greedy too. I don't like sharing. Now, Erica, are you at a place where you know what Erica wants to do? Um, I'm gonna start off by saying that me pursuing sin was for no other reason but the fact that I really was just like drawn to her. And it was around the time that me and him broke up and I feel bad now because it's like, you know, not realizing it. I was in a transition phase of really, tr you know, trying to get over him and I have to own up to the fact that I do feel guilty. She's crazy. Because what you may not realize is that you've actually made me a better person in such a short period of time. And, you know, I gotta give you credit to that. I just really wanted to love you. And not realizing loving you, I still wasn't over that love. Are you still like, in love I've, with Rich? I've, I've been through a lot of to the point that it's like, it's made me the way that I am. Am I still in love with Rich? Yes. Yes. yes, I could answer that. Yes, she is. Yes. So I'm at home when I receive a text message from a friend of mine, and it's a video of Erica turned way too far up, followed by some very suspicious pictures of her and her female friend. So here we go again with the f disrespect. Hey, what's up? We kiss. I have to talk to you, Erica. About what? What happened? Come. We're building our relationship again. I'm trying to trust you again. And now you're doing out here, disrespecting me. And it's making me not trust you all over again. I'm back in square one. I really feel like this relationship is a big joke to you, Erica. But why do you say that? Because you act like you're single, Erica. What do you mean, single? You, you act like about? you're single. Had I been doing half of the you do? What do I do that up? I don't do in front of you, Sin? You do this in front of me, Erica? What the f is that? That's what is Jess. that? What is that? What is that? Who, who is Jess? Jess? Who's Jess? I've been friends, friends with Jess. I don't give a f how long you've been friends with her for. I forbid somebody sends you a, a done video done. of me so throwing champagne on some bitch's ass and licking it off her ass. God forbid somebody does that. Obviously, this hurts you. You're not communicating it hurts me with me. So much, Erica, to see you acting like a running up on me, you like wanna, I'm cheating. You wanna act like you well, ride for me? Not, this ain't riding for me. This I'm ain't riding for, for you. Are you crazy? I put you in I'm riding for you. I need you to understand that. No. Listen to me. I'm gonna touch you. You're mine. Don't. You don't. I didn't think you were like treat that because me like a person, Erica. That's not true, Sam. That is very true. I put you on a different level than a person. I'm really not happy right now, I'm not. So what can make Sin happy? Because I'm down for whatever. Right now, I think uh, you should leave me alone for a second. You should. There's no secret that I love you and I'm in love with you and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to fix this and keep this right. You love me. I know yes, that. Yes, I love you. But love and respect are two different things, Erica. Sin. I was doing my dollars thing, minding my own business, when I get an invitation from the last person I'd expect to get one from. Hold Cynthia! Surprise, surprise, what's going on? Life is full of surprises. Indeed it is. For the life of me, I can't think of what Sin's got to say. First Erica, now Sin, this is crazy. You're not drunk, right? Since you and Erica are my life, I actually drink a whole lot less now. Okay, because when you have a little liquor in your system, you don't really know how to act. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take this opportunity to apologize for that outburst. Oh, because, really? No, real talk. I'm a man up right now, and I was actually waiting to have this conversation with you. Thought about that a lot. That wasn't cool. It wasn't, and I appreciate your apology. No, I'm was, surprised you're crazy. even apologizing. That was crazy. I shouldn't. That was. That's not me. I'm actually very excited to be cleaving the air up with Rich. And it's been bothering me for a while now because I'm not the kind of person to burn bridges. And I didn't really like where Rich and I left off at. So I was talking to Chrissy the other day, right? She's a cool girl. She came up with this crazy idea. What? Maybe you and I like accidentally ending up in the studio and kind of working on a song together. You want to do music? I know this is like super weird and random, right? But 
I want to get my feet wet. Mm -hmm. Just to start off, um, you know, my, my brother passed away. He Correct. committed suicide. So I was thinking maybe writing a song or maybe I could play the strings, a little melody, you know, nothing crazy. Just mm -hmm. and, and make a song and put it on iTunes. And tribute then, song. Yeah, exactly, gotcha. a tribute okay. song. Put it on iTunes and then um, just donate it to like a suicide organization or charity event well, that's dope. Or, or something for kids, you know? If it's a cause like that, we could probably figure it out. I want to. I, I just want to. I want to try something new. You know. Yeah. I want to step out of my comfort zone. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. You gotta take it serious. I take. I take everything serious. Everything, 100 percent. Yeah. I got this liquor. It's called 79 Gold. Okay. How old are you now? I'm old enough to drink. I want you to be a face. I gotta check for you. You're trying to sell me dreams now. I wouldn't sell bullshit. You sold Erica Mena records. Oh, wow. <laughs> now our times have changed. Dang. <laughs> look, look, look at you. You actually got a little voice on you. I could hit a little high note. <laughs> but I, I don't, love it. I don't do it for the money. Right. So you pour me you pour me a drink with your liquor, and if it tastes good, then we work sign out. OK. And you can shake on us. Absolutely. Good conversation, Sin Santana. Cheers. Cheers. Good conversation. Ever since Sin and I agreed to do the charity song, my wheels have been spinning. I recently started working with this girl by the name of Precious Paris, and I think it would be dope if she gave me a 16 for this record. So I arranged for the two of them to meet today to see if the sparks fly. Oh, Hello. There she is. Santana. Hey, pesos. What's happening? But before all that, I still owe Sin a taste test of my new liquor to see if she still wants to be the face of it. So you said, you know what I'm saying, you wanted to make sure you tasted it and approved of it. So we had to get you to taste it so it was Santana Thank you. approved. You're welcome. Santana approves it. Santana approves it. Santana approves it. My you Knock, knock. What up, babe? What's up, Bridge? Yo, what's happening? How are you? Good, good, good. How are you? I'm good. Hi. Hi. Sin Santana. OK. Paris, precious oh, Paris. How's it going, Sin? Nice to meet you. I give hugs. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even realize you was working with a singer because I needed somebody to sing on my track, so this actually Dang. worked out really good. Boom. Oh. This is why I'm here. <laughs> the dot connector. <laughs> Act like you know. See you in a second, right? Mm-hmm. Oh. So what's going on? This is a nice ambiance. Yeah, it is. You got Little some crab cakes. cakes. You want some crab cake, girl? I love crab. I'm a crab. You're not allergic to anything, anything No, right? I'm, I'm allergic to being hungry. OK. <laughs> so let's eat. What's going on? Well, I'm working with Rich now on this project. I brought the idea to him. He liked the idea. The reason why I want to do this particular song is because my brother passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. He, he could, it's OK. I'm sorry. It's recently? Yeah. Um, it hasn't even, even been a year. Oh. He, um, he committed suicide. So I kind of want to make a, a song, kind of like a tribute to him, and have all the proceeds. You know, donated to I'm so sorry for you. I don't know what he was going through, and I tell people this all the time. Like, you just never know. One hug, one kiss, one phone call could change a whole, uh, can change a person's outlook on life. Yeah, and I'm always going to go back to my brother because, you know, he committed suicide. <sighs> mm. Sorry. Don't cry, baby. Don't cry. You need some tissue. This is very fresh for you. I lost my sister when I was 17. She got murdered. She got Girl. murdered. Yeah, and I couldn't sleep for a year. It's been months, and I, I don't sleep at night because I feel guilty, you know, because I'm like, I'm the type of person that wants to help everybody. And I just kind of feel like I failed him because he would call me, you know? He would call me. And don't put that weight on you. It's just so hard, like, to think that someone you knew took their own life away. And I'm always the one that wants to help everybody. And I couldn't help my own brother. And it kills me. Because <laughs> now he's not here. I can't, can't do anything about it but help other people, which is why I'm doing all of this. This means so much to me. And if I could save a life, I will. This is something that I really, really want to do. Yeah. We can save some lives and just do this for a good cause. I think it'd be great. It would be great. And I want you to be, I will be honored to have you. Oh, you're so Believe sweet. Me. This is like a blessing let's to take meet a, you let's today. Take a quick shot. This is to love. Oh, this is to love. To strength. And to forgiveness. And to forgiveness. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. 
After Rich broke the news about him hiring Sin, who's my ex, to do his campaign, yes, I was pissed. I mean, it's obvious he's doing this to provoke me. So after he extended this whole invite to attend his little liquor launch, I decided, hey, why not get drunk and go visit my two favorite exes? I'd like to give everybody's attention. Everybody come to the front. First and foremost, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out. I'm very, very excited about what's going on right now in my new venture. And with that being said, with every dope brand needs the dope model. So let's introduce Sin Santana. Oh, Sin Santana, come to the stage. Everybody give Sin a shout out. Shout out Sin Santana. It's a big deal, man. It's a big deal. You know what I mean? All right. DJ Z, can we turn up a little bit? So Rich warned me that he invited Erica, and the fact that she showed up means she's gonna start some shit. I'm not even trying to deal with her right now, so she should just keep it pushing and leave me the f alone, because I'm not in the mood. Hello. Yo, Hi. yo, what's up? How, How are you? you? Good. So what are you guys doing? Why is everybody like not turned up? This is a liquor party. I feel like no. I came here too drunk. They won't let nobody I try to get you. drunk before the festivities so I can be part of it. Why are you talking like that? Because I'm drunk. <laughs> no, but um, can I get a shot of this 49? 79? Being that it tastes like 49. my ex girl is Well, here we go. Erica just needs to come in, turn up, and try to make this shit about herself like always, because that's what insecure bitches do. But you know what? I'm not going to engage in this bull So Rashida, what do you think about all this? Honestly, I won't want to tell you certain things because I feel like it's because it's it's feed my... it just feeds your... But you know what's wrong. So is it safe to say now your real feelings are coming to the front? No, it's safe to say that I see a bitch's real motives. She's like a foot fungus that won't go away. She's classic. She is a amazing. You want to my ex. No, I and do you know what's crazy? You used to bash me for her. Now you're trying to eat the pie too. One, two, hello. I just want to give a big shout out to my good friend, buddy old pal, Richie Dollars. Tonight was supposed to be all about me, but this is what Erica does. When she doesn't have the spotlight, she'll do anything to get it. I'm so over this bitch and all her selfish bullshit. Let's all give Richie D a round of applause. And honestly, I love and respect you. Till this day, no matter how many songs you stole from me, no matter how many of my exes you decide to hire, <laughs> we love you, Richie D. Only you can pull this <laughs> off. So on that note, let's give a round of applause to Richie Dollars and Dollars Unlimited. Thank you. Today I'm shooting the cover of Blue Magazine, and I'm super excited and can't wait to see how the shots come out. The only thing I'm not anticipating is seeing Sin. Sin texted me and asked to meet up. I guess she wanted to talk. I gotta be honest, I'm really not feeling all of this. Hi. 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 Um, you guys, can you give me a second? Real Sorry. quick. Sorry to interrupt y'all shoot. Please. Mm -hmm. After speaking with Paris, it helped me realize how whack this whole situation is. I guess I was just used to Erica's BS. And to add to that, Paris's reaction just made me realize that I need to be done with Erica for good. This isn't something that I can just drop. And it's unfortunate that has to end this way. This is not how I saw it coming. Like, why can't you just go your way? And why can't I just go my I was my trying, home? and I was doing that. And then you come along with Rich, and no. it throws everything off. Listen, you're still not giving me a real answer on why well, you what did is, that. I don't, first of all, if you want to go your way, sin, go. And that I, yeah. includes me and anyone who I'm attached to. No, So Erica, if you want to move doesn't. on, why go to my ex? I, I can't stop my life for you, Erica, because you, you can't. And no, I don't and want I'm you not, to. And I'm but not going to. why go to Rich? I'm doing a song with Rich for charity, a selfless act something Erica would never understand. But of course, she thinks that us working together has everything to do with her because the whole world revolves around Erica. If you think I came to Rich to like get back at you, that was the reason. I spoke to Rich to squash whatever animosity was there, and I mentioned I wanted to do a song with him. You could call Drake and all I, these other God, you dealt with. Oh Why God. Rich? Rich was a D-list, was a cornball, all this shit to you. You mad because I'm still here? That's Stop. the problem? My friends are you're not your mad because I'm here? Stop it. Is that the issue, Erica? Stop it. You're Since making yourself too comfortable. You talk too to me like I'm some random bitch off the street, Erica. Now you are. If moving on has to do with you still mingling with people that have connections with me, 
okay, and I'll take it as you still want to be around me in some way. Oh, so Erica, if you want to move doesn't. on, I'm good. I just need you to, you know, understand that there's no, I don't have no harsh feelings towards you. I, I, I'm fine. How everything happened, it happened, it's sad. Oh, and I do want to apologize for that time that it, it got happens, physical. It happens, I'm over it. No, listen, you I'm need to hear it because me being as into you as I was, I should have held my composure a lot more than I did. And I didn't mean to put my hands on you. Okay? And I love you and I always will. I want you to forgive me on that, okay? I love you. Rich connected me with Cisco to work on the song for my brother. From what I'm told, I heard he's done great things for first time artists. So I have to say, my hopes are pretty high. Hey. Hi. What's going on? I hope I'm not interrupting anything. No, no, no. It's waiting for you. What's happening? Coincidentally, he's lost a brother, too. Once I learned that, I knew he can give this song the soul it deserves. When Rich told me about your situation, it caught my attention because I, you know, I, I went through something similar. I don't know the exact situation, but I had an older brother, God rest his soul, that, you know, uh, that I lost. And I've never been the same to this day. I decided one day, like, to make a record about it, you know, so I did that. And it's a record I worked on for about two years, on and off. I want you to hear it. You know, yeah. You can get an idea of what I can do for you, all okay. right? Okay. You know, every time I hear this song, no matter how long it's been, I still get emotional. You know, I think that's what a tribute song should do. And I'm willing to help Sam pour her feelings onto this track. You know, my brother was murdered in the street. And, you know, I always blame myself because I never stopped him. I never tried to stop him, you know? And I feel like maybe I ain't showing him I loved him enough. Oh, it's so hard. And nobody can understand when you lose something like that. Like, I would have never imagined getting a phone call at 9 in the morning. I got mine at 6 in the morning. And I literally, I just fell on the floor. And, like, the room was spinning. I was like, this this has to be fake, right? This has to be fake. This is fake. Tell me this is fake. This is fake. Where's Joel? Where's my brother? Where's my brother? He could have gone to my dad like that. I'm going through it. I'm thinking about killing myself. He could have asked for help. Maybe he would have gotten it. He would be here right now. I keep Joel alive within me by following my heart and never backing down because you'll never know if you're gonna be here tomorrow. I ask myself every day, am I living an honest life? Am I facing my challenges? Like learning how to play guitar or standing up to Erica when she's bad-mouthing me online? In my brother's memory, I've learned to never run away from adversity. He's made me stronger. I could literally help people and save lives with the story, you know? I mean, I'm confident this process will, you know, it's gonna help you, it's gonna make you feel better. I'm pretty sure. I know things between Erica and I weren't perfect, but finding out she was getting engaged a few months after we broke up really hurt me. For some reason, I just can't shake this. So I decided to pop up on Erica at the her warehouse to try to get some closure on this situation. This is coming along super, super great. Let's see if we can make the beanies this material, okay. and then we'll use That's that stretchy feeling. Excuse me. I don't mean to interrupt, but I have to have a word with her. Uh, sure. If you don't mind, sorry. Give me like 30 minutes. No problem. I won't be long. What are you doing here? You know I'm real big on closure. Mm hmm And I just feel like everything between us happened way too fast. And, um... I cannot, I'm not, I can't do this. I have no idea why Sin is here, but obviously I can see she's upset. I've already moved on, and I'm about to become someone's wife. It's apparent that Sin has yet to move on, and I guess it's only right at this point that I give her the opportunity to get what she needs off her chest. What's the matter? This is not easy, Erica. I know. I know. I don't know why I always find myself right back here. Like, even after all the bull 
What are you here for? That's, I'm like totally oblivious, like I said. Because you're engaged now? Because you're, you're with Bow Wow? Like, what is it you're feeling? How did that happen? Why why did you not just tell me? Like, did you did you fall in love with this guy with Wow? Like, did you see something in him that you didn't like? What is it? As like, soon as we broke up, I had, I had enough time to like analyze. Enough it. time? Absolutely. And it was the how much time? time? It was perfect timing for me. Do you not feel anything at all? Nothing? Like you're just okay with life now and everything? Everything just happened. Like I never existed to you. I don't feel anything no more, no. Like, you think this shit is easy, my to sit here and talk to you? It's not easy. I feel like you take me as a joke. Like, I can't do this. I can't. It's no secret, my feelings for Sin have changed. But we did at one point in time have something special. I don't want to see Sin upset, but in all reality, my relationship with Shad has nothing to do with her. Stop being so dramatic. Just relax. I won't even say nothing. I just need you to talk. Some type of way, like if if I tell you don't worry about somebody, and then I I'm getting married to them. Yeah, but that wasn't the case. You didn't have to worry about him then. You didn't. He was in a relationship. I was too. And during our break, I really was in this whole I'm not dating nobody. So were you thinking like this was like oh I'm broken up with sin I'm gonna go get engaged? That's not what happened at all. I know you and I both knew what we had. And as much as I want to drag you by your hand, wipe my ass with you sometimes, like, I can't help the fact that I still care about you. And that's the honest to God truth. I still care about you. And, and that's why I came here. I just wanted some type of closure. I wanted to know what happened, like, how, how did this happen, you know, because yeah, I, I, I could sit here and say, yeah, I don't give a f But the truth is, sometimes I think about it. I didn't mean to hurt you by any means, by no means, ever. Not in friendship, not in relationship, not in, like, anything. I never wanted to hurt. Like, you were different. You were my friend. Then you became more than that. And I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to fight with you, man. Like, I don't. I never wanted us to, to get there, ever. I care about Erica. I want her to be happy, and I want to be also. This isn't easy, but this conversation is helping me, even though it wasn't easy to see her and tell her my true feelings. I, this, this is a lot right now. I think, I think we both said what we needed to say. Um, you look beautiful. You too. And. I sincerely wish you the best. Like, you know that. Hi. Hey. Why are you so lonely here? Oh, I'm just working. Mm. What's up? What's going on? You and your candles. Yeah, you know, it's one of those moves today. Cisco and I have been working really hard on my new song for my Suicide Awareness event. I'm so excited to hear how it all comes together. So why you look nice. Thank you. You going somewhere after this? I might have a date after this. Oh, yeah. excuse me. Yeah. Is my song ready? Yeah, it's coming along. Remember, I still got to do some more work to report, at least you get an idea where you're at. Cisco's got a little bit of a reputation with the ladies, but I have to say, I haven't seen any of that. He's shown himself to be a perfect gentleman with me and a great producer. My heart is broken. Can't believe that I'm here. Would have given up my life for his. I have to admit, I never thought this day would come. When my brother took his life, I didn't think the pain would go away. This song doesn't heal me completely, but it is a really good start. I cannot believe that I sang this motherfucking song. Yeah, it's you. That's crazy. No, for real, I can't believe that's me singing. Mm. Working with Cisco has been great. I like being around him, but something does not add up here. How could the Cisco that I've come to know have anything to do with this crazy diamond chick? I wanted to ask you, are you stressed out about somebody? No, nah, no, nah, I don't have anybody right now. I had somebody that I was dealing with recently. Diamond? Yeah. 
You met her before? Diamond Strawberry. Right, right, right. Yeah. Recently, I heard she was running around with Rich. You and Rich, are, you guys spoke about it, you told him how you felt, and... I'll forgive him, but I'll never forget it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And you're moving forward now, correct? And it's not, yeah, I am moving forward, and, and you know, most recently he did, you know, do something really nice for me, too. What did he do? He brought you to me. He what? He brought you to me. He brought me to you. Well, he to introduced make... us. He introduced us. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's just you know, you you know, you just being around you, you know, you got great energy. You know, you've been a thank you. I brought the fresh air, so I just appreciated you know the experience and working with you. Is Cisco hitting on me? I hope not, because otherwise this can get really awkward. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> because. Cause why? Nothing. That made me <laughs> Stop no, looking at me. <laughs> All right, we going to to look somewhere else? Let's play the song again. Sure, yeah, So I it. could get back in the zone. Okay. My heart is broken. It has been so much work, but the night of my event has arrived, and I am amazed. I really hope tonight honors my brother and supports those who have been affected by suicide. What up? Oh, you look handsome. Hi, Thank you. What up, what up, what up bro? I couldn't have done this without the help of Rich and Chrissy. So many people have donated time and talent to make this a great event. But I'm nervous about performing my song in front of an audience. Hello! Oh, oh The precious tea! Hi! This is the precious you told me about? Hi. Yes. Hi. I'm so proud of Sin for putting this event in motion. That girl's got such a big heart that it is not a surprise to see everybody here to support her. But I haven't been around for a minute, and I got some catching up to do. It's all Rich's great idea. You know what I've become? I've become the dot connector. He got me. You know what I mean? With Cisco to do the song, connecting me with Christy to do the event. He hey, he connected dots with that porn he got coming up, or his client has coming up. What that what? The porn tape, you guys didn't hear about the porn tape? Porn what? Blaze has... What about her? She has a porn tape coming out. I heard there was a raunchy-ass sex tape out from Johnny. It was probably Richie, Dollars, Unlimited, all up in it. Who's on the tape, Rich and Johnny? That's what I want to know. No. I really don't know who the other person is on the tape. No, I'm not in no mother porn tape. Wah, wah, wah. Bum, shake a bum, bum. Oh, hell no. So maybe she's a, is she a porn star? Maybe she's a porn star. You told me she was a rapper. Maybe she's a rapping porn star. What's going on? Hi. I'm going to raise some flowers. That's not how you say hi. I'm sorry. How are you doing? The proper way. Working with Sin is amazing. You know, I ain't gonna lie, I'm starting to develop some type of feelings for Sin. The last time I tried to break it down, I felt like she didn't want to hear it. But tonight, it feel like some magic in the air. So it might be the right time to show her where I'm at with it, and maybe she'll give me the same thing back. This is too heavy for me. Um, I'll carry it for you. Well, thank you. To be honest with you, I'm the one who should be thanking you. Why? Ever since I met you, we, we spent a lot of time together. I it just, you know, you brought a lot of light into my life, man, just being around you, and, you know. Thank you. That's flattering. I wanted to let you know that, you know, I, I really do care about you. Thank you. Like, seriously, I, you know, I don't want to hide it anymore from you. I want to just be up front and tell you the truth. What's that? You know, um, I would love the opportunity to really see if we can be together one day. Really? I just want you in my life. I wasn't expecting to tell you, but I don't want to hide anymore. I don't want to be around you and you not at least know. Cisco laying out his feelings for me was the last thing I expected. I'm going to need some time to let this digest, but for now, I'm going to focus on the purpose of this event. I was not expecting all of this. No, I know. I didn't mean to blindside you with it. I just figured, since I know it's an emotional day for you and a lot going on, so I just figured it'd be the right opportunity to let you know, all right? Okay. So good luck. And you know, I'll see you later. Okay. All right. I need a shot. Whoa. I'm not opening the door on Cisco, but I'm not keeping it closed either. Right now, I need to concentrate on taming my nerves because here comes my first public performance. I want you to put your hands together for the song title called How Can You Leave by Sin Santana. It's taken a lot of months and help from friends, but I'm doing this for my brother and his memory. 
because if I can just help one person, I feel like I achieved something. what it feels to finally be here and sing this song for my brother. The only way this could be any better is if he were here with me tonight. This one's for you, Joelle. Tonight is the night. Sin finally agreed to go on a date with me, and I think I got a chance to win her over. You know, I'm usually good with this kind of thing, but with Sin, I'm not taking any chances. I'm pulling out all the stops. Hi. How you going? Oh, you got the chain. You smell good. So I reserved a private room at one of my favorite restaurants, and I just hope that she's feeling me the way I'm feeling her. How you been? Good. You been good? Yeah. That's good. So why you keep laughing? Nah, I'm just, you know, I haven't seen you in a while. What's been up? I wanted to thank you. You know, because the event happened and everything was so fast and everybody was moving everywhere. We spoke, but we didn't really, really, really speak. Right. And I just wanted to thank you for that, you know. But I, um, I remember you telling me, you know, um, that, you were starting to, to like me. Because I found something that was special to me. You know, I met somebody that I was really just excited about. And that's flattering. Thank you. Cisco and I are not on the same page with our relationship. I loved working with him on my song, but I'm really not interested in pursuing anything more than a friendship. This kind of conversation is never easy, but it's better to lay it all out on the table rather than to lead him on. I mean, you you know by now, like, when it's business, it's business. Like, I don't, you know I do not play that. Like, this is, especially with a song like this, you know. I, I Listen, I'm with you. However you look at it, I'm with you on that. But I'm just saying, like, there's no business we did a record. And, we move on with that record. Francisco, that's business. I produce records for people all the time. And they take it and they do it. That doesn't mean that we're business partners. I mean, they take a record and they go do what they want with it. Um, this, this just isn't for me. You think I thought I was going to, like, be around somebody and start to feel some type of way like this? Nah, I didn't, I didn't think that was going to happen. But you I know, don't know. I, maybe you have some ulterior motives. Nah, I, I just got around somebody special. You're special, that's all. And God bless you, and I hope whoever it is that winds up landing you knows what he has. Because I know what you are. And you, and or she. Or, or she, whatever, whoever the f but whatever. He. He, she, whatever it is. You're, you're, you're a special individual. So, you know, um, I wish you the best on that. All I'm saying is that I, I, I genuinely, you know, care about you deeply. And I still do. So I got to get past that. And I will. I want people to understand that I didn't want it to end like it ended. I didn't. So I want people to take from this relationship that, no, it didn't work out, but it has opened doors for this kind of relationship to be accepted. I was picking my brain for months on what I really did so wrong. Because she's been saying, oh, she devastated me. She stole money from me. She cheated on me. And if that's all you hear, mm -hmm. and when you see this girl playing this whole role out, of being the victim, 
you know, I'm obviously the bad guy. Why would you not want to clear that up? Why would you not want to go onto that reunion show stage, look her in the eye, and let the world know, like, this is all a lie? If I was to put her on blast, she could never come back from it. There's no so redeeming herself. So you're doing herself. her a favor by being In a, a martyr? In a way, because now she can be the victim. She can be the sweet girl that everybody loves with the red hair that, you know, wants to feed the children. Yeah, why not? Let her run with it. She needs something to run with. What did know? she feel that you had done to her? I mean, was it? For whatever reason, she mm -hmm. thinks that I owe her money from her. So were the emotions that she was feeling really about the money stuff? Because it feels like I, she I'm kept saying you, you cheated on her. At her 21st birthday party, the gentleman she's up and down New York now with has been in the picture from the beginning. So you're saying she was dating him the whole time you she guys were dating? She absolutely was. Let's clarify the timeline with you and Bow Wow in relation to your relationship with Sin. Once okay, well, and for the kiss all. happened. Okay. I like to start controversy, and it was 106 in part. At that moment, what was supposed to be was a stage scenario of us looking like we were about to kiss, and Sin was supposed to kind of come out, have the crowd go crazy. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Sin had a different agenda and never showed up that day. I was angry, so I just went forward with it anyway. And at that time, I was like, he's just my friend. Automatically, I was in the doghouse, so was he. During that time, I was really trying to fix it. I was. Your relationship yes. with Sin, okay. And the more I try to fix it, the more people getting involved. And then as you move forward, once you start befriending enemy, 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 that's when it finally hit me that it was over for me. So have you guys been in touch at all? Has she tried to communicate with you, get back with you? Oh, you weirdly going? enough, she kind of popped up at a venue that I was hosting during All-Star Weekend, which I found mm -hmm. it to be so weird. Did you guys talk? Absolutely not. She was by the bar where I found her, so I was in VIP. <laughs> well, we know Erica doesn't mince words, so Sin, what I want to know is, what do you have to say in response to Erica really saying that you're playing the victim? It's easy to play victim when you are victim. She and I know what it is. For her to sit here, and then she does this whole, at the bar where I found her. Like, what is your point? I understand your frustration. You brought me in as a pawn, because last season, when Rich said to you, your storyline was dying out, so what happened? You needed to go find a cute little girlfriend to bring on the show, and you thought I was your little puppet, but I'm not. So I have nothing else to say to that girl. I don't. And I just want to make something clear. Okay. The reason her and I didn't work out wasn't because she got engaged, you know. Okay. It was because of the disrespect, the lies, and just... I started seeing the kind of person that she was, and I just wasn't too fond of it, so I just decided to keep it moving, but... So we know you are fond of someone else now. Yes. He's waiting backstage, so everyone, please welcome Ray. <laughs> girl. <laughs> Ray's cute. He got money. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Ray? Damn, Ray balling. Okay. So, Ray, Erica says that you were at Sin's 21st birthday party. We know cameras were there. So, was there something going on during that time? Because we know, Rashida, you were there as well. Did you see him? I don't know, because I ain't no snitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ray? I, I was there. I was there, you, there? you know. Yeah, I invited everybody to my party. What, what was your relationship at the time? We were friends. I was there to support her, her 21st birthday. Okay, and that was it? Yeah, that was it. So, Sid, let me know. You seem very happy. Are you in love with Ray? I'm very much in love. I'm in a really, really, really good place right now. Right. That is very nice to hear. Good for you. He's a cutie. Good for you guys. The king has arrived. Hey, Big Daddy. <laughs> Things have changed for me a lot over the years. My career, my maturity, my personal life. Last time you guys seen me, I think I was a little unlucky in love, too. Will you marry me? I don't trust you right now. That's a no. I also had some personal demons I was battling. A lot of people can get clean, but it's more important to stay clean. But all of that has changed, and today is a new day. Sin and I were friends for a few years prior to us dating. And then a few years back, we were both single, and we decided to take things to that next level. All right, thick mama. Morning, Papa We're both very different people. She's young, passionate, beautiful, bubbly. And y'all know me. I'm a grumpy old man. I'm ready to take my clothes off now. Oh, you should take your clothes off. You, we can go swimming. Out, get dressed. 
I want to see some legs and knees. Easy access for me, please. <laughs> Since having the baby, things have slowed down a little bit. We used to get a little busy, busy, like four, five, six times a day. Now, I'm lucky if I even get a little tongue. Hey. Who got their knees out? I do. <laughs> Why you don't look happy to see us? He was fine upstairs. No, daddy's home. I love family time, but that's all Joe wants to do, and it's killing me. Oh, it's nice. Oh, yeah, okay, real. well, I mean, I was hoping that me and you could, like, do a little something, something. <laughs> okay, what did you want to do by the pool? I we can't know, do a little, a little rub down. I'll get back to you tonight. Same time, same place here. Yes, sir. We live here. In yes. the bed, but we don't do anything? <laughs> <laughs> Just because we had a kid doesn't mean that we got to let go of each other. OK. So with that being said, how about we take, like, a vacation? Not possible. We need to make it happen, baby. I'm going to have lots of fun and lots of sex. I'm going to spend a lot of time together without the baby and without work. Mommy's going to go get Oh, you are crazy. Come on. I'm so happy. to the Joe Butt Podcast live rendition. Rory. That's a great shirt, by the way. Thanks. Brings out your eyes. It. It's a little Listen, just because you dress like you sold coke in 87 on Lennox <laughs> doesn't mean you got to get at me. <laughs> I'm taking this off. <laughs> We're going to keep it all the way real tonight. All man. right. So, first of all, I oh, told... No, no, no. <laughs> I am more in love with you than I have ever been with anyone else this year. So Joey's podcast was great, but that's not going to be all the work he's putting in tonight. This little dry spell that we've been having is going to end tonight. I feel that. What the hell is going on? Out today. I see. Do you smell anything? Let me see. Come Good. here. Hold up. You know, like a new perfume. Lex is at home with my mom, and I have the perfect plan in place, and I can't wait. I figured since we're in the city already, why not get a room at a beautiful hotel? I mean, could just spend the night. Yes. So. Slow down. You got a room. Yeah. Hotel room. Yes. In the city. I know how thoughtful of me, right? To get a room for my man to spend some time with his woman and have some sex. Something. I want to do that at home. You want to go home? If we don't go to the hotel room, you're going to fall asleep at home and I'm not getting anything. So yes. I gotta figure that out. Not at all. I'm in a car. No, we're busy. I'm Bye. Leaving the car to get in the bike. I'm trying to get some. Let's let him go. Thank you. Wonderful. What is it? Am I what? What, is, what? You don't like this? Like what? What is it? Put that up right here and ask, hey, who wants to? Right, and so everybody, and everybody will be like me. Your parents. She will. She will. The driver. Everybody. Jesus, man. Everybody will me right now. We have a job. We have a five-month-old baby. So yeah, we're not getting it on and, you know what I mean? Like we used to, but that's okay. Honestly, she's just being a little immature about the situation. Driver, make the next right, please. Take me to New Jersey. Oh, then you can pull over right here and I'll get out. Pull over right here. Listen, I'm going to this hotel. You're not coming with me to no. the hotel. No, I'm going home. What are you doing? I'm leaving, Joseph. I'm done. Know how he thinks it makes me feel to practically have to beg my man for some sex. I'm already having a hard time adjusting to my new body after giving birth, and now he's making me feel worse. I can't even believe this I know, is happening but, right I now. I know, but talk to me. What? You not having sex with me does not make me feel sexy, and I want to feel sexy, and I want to feel like a woman again. Like, I'm trying to get back to me and back to us, and you're not doing that. You're not trying to help. Don't 
hotel is not the problem. The timing. Timing is the problem. Timing is always Let me the finish. Problem. Let me finish what I'm saying. Before I go and pop myself, I should sit here and listen to what you have to say, right? Senior citizen ass. scene it's been drama after drama after drama between jonathan and that whole mess and jacque talking about safari's robbery was a fraud child i don't know what to believe i need a break from all that so today i'm gonna spend some time with my baby sisters but first let me put this sleepy baby down for a nap i thought whisking sent away to a romantic vacation would give me some special treatment around the house but as usual She's got me cleaning up the mess. If I didn't know any better, I would think that she's got like an allergic reaction to any housework. Let me see your nails. They're so cute. Ooh. I like them. Look at that little diamond. I see that. Dark diamond, are you talking about? This little diamond. <laughs> Why is girl stuff so hard to grab? <laughs> Promise ring, bitch. Okay, but what do you have? First comes love, then comes the baby, then comes marriage and the carriage. Like, it's about time. Yeah. Is it about time? It's definitely about time. It was about time, maybe what, like a year? A baby ago. A baby ago. <laughs> y'all can definitely sit down with y'all brother in law and be like, so what's going on with my sis? Hello. Hola. Hola, mami. Hola, negro. Hola. Hola. Maybe. Not wifey. But without a ring? No, fee. 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 You put fee on the end when there's no ring yet. Oh, OK. See, wifey. Oh, wifey. All right, so let's take the fee out. And then we work our because way Because listen, gradually. yo, look at, look at Leslie's cute little promise ring. You know? <laughs> she gonna get married. My baby sister, Leslie's 22 years old, got four years with her man, and she already got a little promise ring. And here I am with a baby, and... El anillo pa' cuando? <laughs> What is the dance? I'm trying to be a bridesmaid. It's about time. Like, Let we had a baby girl. for you. I will propose when I am ready and when I feel the time is right. And hopefully that's when Sin decides to take some of her wifely duties around the house a bit more seriously. Take your little dusty ass into the car and drive to Zales. Chop, chop. Zales. Nothing that will measure my love is in Zales. Eso es embute. Tú sabes muy bien que yo cobré lo que tú me dieras, lo que sea, no me importa. ¿Tú me entiendes? ¿Tú lo entiendes? ¿Tú lo entiendes? So, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't interrupt sissy talk. Trust me, never again. I just came from work. Girl. Work it was just psychotic, man. You know, I know. Crazy. So Joe asked me to go and sit down and have a woman-to-woman -woman talk with his girl. They just hit a little bump in the road. And if I could help smooth out the pavement, that's what I'm going to do. Well, I spoke to Joe. We were talking at work the other day. He kind of mentions that he doesn't really understand what's going on with you. So I'm like, OK, I'm going to talk to her. But first, I need to know both sides of the story. I kind of have mixed feelings about Joe asking me to talk to his friend after our huge blow up. He hasn't even tried to speak to me himself. But all I really care about is me and Joe finding a way to get back to our relationship. I still feel like we're, we should be in that honeymoon stage. I want to get married. Like, I want a big family. I want kids. Right. So we were like, all right, we're going to have kids in four years. That happened way before. And I gained all this weight, so I started seeing myself differently. Like, all this Then after giving birth, now I'm dealing with postpartum depression. And then while that's happening, now he's getting all these jobs. Me and my husband, although we may seem like we have the perfect relationship, 
it's, it's kind of close, I'm gonna say. It's kind of close, <laughs> kind of close. But we, go through, like it. we go through And we also had to get to this point. We had to learn ways to communicate. If I'm telling you how I feel from my heart, I'm crying, I'm pouring my heart out to you, and you're like, but this and this, and you're talking over me, it makes me feel unworthy. It makes me feel less than, mm -hmm. and nobody wants to feel less than. I was literally in tears, like, yo, I'm like screaming for help. You, you acknowledge that I'm, I'm going to postpartum depression, right? And you're still telling me, well, figure it out. I'm pretty sure in your postpartum depression that you haven't been the sin that he fell in love with neither, the same way I can, I he hasn't been. So you that. guys have to figure out how y'all can get that back. When I was away, I could only see my husband, have sex with my husband, and that's only if I didn't get in trouble, which I stayed in trouble. <laughs> we would see each other every six to seven weeks for 48 hours. Mm -hmm. He has no phones, I had no phone, there was no internet, there was nothing. And now that I'm home, we came to the conclusion, you know what? We're gonna set aside that time, once a weekend or every two weeks. If I want me time with exactly. you, Exactly. Get a babysitter. And he told me about that too. I, oh my God, Remy, I'm terrified. He told me you don't want to get a nanny. Are you gonna get a nanny? I want a nanny, I'm getting a nanny because how could y'all really spend that intimate time if you have to keep worrying about the baby? If you don't feel totally safe, this camera's everywhere. That bitch gonna wear a body cam. <laughs> <laughs> I am 1,000% not with the nanny thing. I don't think I have it in me to trust a stranger with my child. But I am here for the no phone and quality time rule. Maybe if it comes from Remy, he will take her advice. That, no, I'm not playing. Not I'm not playing. No, not with my baby. You met my baby. So cute. Are you kidding me? So I will, cute. I will shoot somebody. <laughs>
I don't feel like I have to sit with a doctor right now. I don't want to get prescribed medicine. I kind of want to handle this on my own. What would really make me feel better is Joey and I working through our relationship issues together. I want to be able to unload all this shit on you and not make you feel like you're carrying everything. But I also want to be happy. Like, I also want to feel fulfilled. I'm not that selfish. I want to do anything that we have to do, we as a team, for you to get back to the person that you were. Mm -hmm. It's great that you think you're handling this A-OK. -okay. I've been w waving and kicking and screaming over here for however long, dying for my partner back. Baby, I don't know what to tell you. You have your own opinion on how I'm handling my postpartum depression. Like, and you're wrong. I don't know what to tell you. Hey, Doc. I first saw Dr. Jen a few years ago when I was at a really low point in life. And I needed some help dealing with the guilt that I had surrounding the lack of relationship between my oldest son, Trey, and myself. It was complicated between his mother and I, and as a result, I missed out on his entire upbringing. My issue is my relationship with my child. Tell me. It's non-existent. And now that things are a bit rocky between Sin and I, the thought that that could happen with me, her, and Lex, it scares the out of me. I left you, right? And continued to do a lot of work. Good. That's what I was hoping. I did. I fell in love with my friend. My with Cynthia. She was exactly what I needed. In what way? Support. She was my everything. Yeah. And she got pregnant. And I was super excited because, you know. You want another chance to be a dad and do it right. <laughs> Was unexpected. Yeah. I'm not sure that she felt that, right? Yeah. 25. You know, you worried about stability, you worried about everything. Yeah. And Doc, that's when it got a little nuts. Yeah. She was real moody. During the pregnancy. Which is yeah. Combined with my career beginning to really accelerate. Yeah. So she was alone. Were you guys having conflict? Were a lot of conflict. fighting? A lot of conflict. And I guess the part that's me up, Don, is she didn't show these qualities that seem to be manifesting today. Is she open to meeting me? Yeah. Let me try to find her. OK. I'm hoping to achieve some clarity. She needs help with whatever she's going through. I need help on how to be there for her. Thank you for being open to sitting down with me. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna go. You guys get a Oh, point. you're leaving us. Yeah. Oh. I, I want to kind of get to know you one-on-one. -on -one. We can call him back in later. Okay. So congratulations on being a new mom. Thank you. How are so you funny. holding up? Good. It's not easy. Tell me a little more. It's hard. I guess one of the things is I'm dealing with postpartum depression, and he is very busy mm -hmm. with work. It's not just Joe. It's like I feel stuck being a young mom. I don't want to feel like it's impeding my life, you know? And his fix is like, get a nanny, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't want a nanny. My mom, she was a single mom. She was working 20 hours a day. Yeah. She would leave me with people she think she could trust. And... and did bad things happen with people that she thought she could trust? One thousand percent. Yeah. Can I ask what happened? I've never really said this before. I had a feeling. I think like three people in this life know, including Joe. My mom doesn't even know. You know, the things that we don't talk about like that, we tend to carry a lot of shame, and that shame eats us up. And what tends to happen is that we take those experiences and we carry them with us, which makes you still a victim to whoever hurt you. So when I 
was five, I was raped. But I was raped by a woman. And what happened was not your fault. Oh. Do you get that? I do. But I don't trust because of that. I don't even let anybody change my baby's diaper. I understand. I don't trust anybody. I don't know if this is postpartum depression. I think what this may be is all the unresolved feelings about the trauma you suffered bubbling to the surface. It's coming out in depression, it's coming out in anxiety, which also makes you feel angry and resentful. And you have a baby that you can't accept help with, like, mm -hmm. yeah. it's the perfect storm. You yeah, see, literally. right? Literally. Yeah. You just, that's exactly how it is for me. Yeah. So then I start to feel resentment towards him because I don't feel like he's doing anything to help me and I feel like that's his responsibility as my partner. Why don't we bring him in here and let's talk the two of you together. The assessment that Dr. Jen made made all the sense in the world. It feels good being able to open up to a professional, especially someone who is a woman and someone who has had kids, and I'm not being judged. One of the things that Cynthia shared with me that I think really impacts your relationship is that she was very open and willing to talk about that when she was five years old that she was molested. So that has made it very hard for her to trust anyone taking care of the baby which makes it very difficult for the two of you to have any time alone together. You guys clearly love each other, and you actually both want the same thing. We both want the same things, but... Like, I hope that's enough. It's not enough without the tools and without the willingness to do the hard work for you to be willing to explore this pain and this trauma you went through. You gotta do individual therapy. For you to be willing to, instead of getting annoyed and pissed off at her, let's come from the approach of, baby, I'm so sorry this thing happened to you. I know it's gotta be so hard to trust again. And then when she's ready to have an extensive screening process when it comes to having someone come and help them so that you guys can have a little freedom to actually tend to your relationship and how important that is. Very much so. But this is a really good start. Why well, really got us dressed all stupid? I feel like a clown. Why? You look good. You look like you're ready to moonwalk. I love this. I wouldn't be going to nobody else's baby shower but Auntie Remy. <laughs> that means you're scared of Remy. I am scared That's of Remy. <laughs> It wouldn't be a Remy Ma party if she didn't go all out. And of course, her baby shower is no exception. She's doing a 1950s theme, and we're all under strict orders to dress for the occasion. As dumb as I feel in this outfit, it's really nice to be out having a good time with Sin. We've made a commitment to carving out some quality minutes for the relationship, and it's paying huge dividends. So when are you going to have some free time? Uh... What state of the culture is supposed to be taking a break? <gasps> For real? Oh. Well, simmer down. <laughs> simmer oh, down. Oh, excuse me. Relax. I'm a real bitch. What? <laughs> <laughs> what other bitch gonna make you laugh this hard? I don't know, baby. I'm not looking to find out. You know, getting some romance involved, huh? Remember that trip I told you about with Juju? Mm -hmm. She invited me to Costa Rica. She's inviting a couple other girls. Maybe you can come with. This? It might sound crazy, but I don't think it's such a terrible idea to invite Joe on the girls trip. <laughs> I could go chill with the girls every the day, do some girl stuff, and then at nighttime, come to my man and get some loving and some rubbing and some lovey dovey. <laughs> Sorry, Juju. What guys are coming? It don't matter, babe. It shouldn't matter. It should be you me and you so? thing, you know? You can unwind a little bit, you know? And let's have sex. I definitely want to have sex. So that means you're coming? Yes. Crash and Sin's girl trip is not exactly my idea of a dream vacation. But part of us fixing our relationship troubles is me giving her the time and attention that she requires whenever I have some available. Is this a f pool 
jacuzzi. Babe, hey, this is beautiful. <laughs> I mean, I knew that we were staying at a resort, you know, and that we had a room, but I had no idea Joe was gonna upgrade to the suite. I haven't shaved my legs. Oh my God, you didn't shave? I don't know what has gotten into my man, but honey, I am living for all of this romance. I can't wait to f in front of this view. It's gonna be awesome. Who is mm. this man? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's up? What? I don't know. Not now. This is the Joe that I've been missing. Oh, the Joe you've been missing. Yeah, for real. It's an energy thing. It's a good vibe. Thank you. Mm. Oops. <laughs> what a lady. Sorry. <laughs> I gotta say, this is the sin that I've been missing, too. I'm not saying that I'm ready yet, but this is the sin that I see myself marry. Let me get the door, because I gotta go to the concierge anyway. Please hold. Yeah. Please watch your step. Yeah, I'm watching my step. Listen now. I'm out. Y'all have fun. Oh, Joe is sick. It's set up like they on their honeymoon. Child, I don't think they're gonna have any problem finding romantic times together here on this trip. Let me just start off by saying this is amazing. I need to go in that pool right there and in that bed right there. Girl, fk. I'm thinking bigger than that. What you talking about? What do you mean when Girl, I talk about that? What did I just go through? Hello? No, honey. By the way, your rock is so heavy, it's twisting. Right. <laughs> this looks like a, we just got engaged or about to get married. It is like sweet. honeymoon vibe, right? With all of this romance in the air, all of this love and affection and attention, I feel like we here a little bit, and I'm digging it. I was talking to Juju, and she was like, yo, since everybody came in at different times, let's just do a brunch tomorrow in the morning. But listen, you cool with being at a table with Yandy? It's redundant at this point, you know what I'm saying? Like, it shouldn't be no beef with us sitting with each other. We're both grown, we should know how to act. And we're in Costa Rica. Rica. It's not about, it's about many things. Cheers to happiness. Yes! I was gonna cheers with my foot. Let me see this! Let me see Well, you gotta this. cheers back. And not with my foot, I don't know how you gotta teach me. <laughs> Whoa, bitch! Wait a minute. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hey! What are you doing? First thing. Wait a minute. Get the dog. Get out of here. What? Get out of here. Joey better not be playing with me a thousand feet in the air. Mm -mm. Listen, while, while everyone here is making jokes, I wanted to come let you know that I had a special night of romance planned for only you and I. <laughs> and after our great day of adventuring, I can't wait. <laughs> oh, baby, you can't be resting like that again. Now we pass all the ceremony mushiness. Hey, I'm ready yeah. to do what we came here. Yeah. We going to heaven. Will Smith wore a hitch. <laughs> That's the Dykeman brunch outfit. <laughs> Welcome to the Joe Budden Live podcast. All right. I would say that I have some type of post-vacation blues after Costa Rica, but I'd be lying. I'm feeling really good about my last live podcast of the year. I'm planning something really, really special to go down tonight that I think everyone's gonna love. Joe is the only hip hop history that's gonna be known for not wanting to have sex with a beautiful girl. Ever. I know, I didn't, this is awkward. I didn't say I don't want to have sex. No, you're not having sex. I know. <laughs> Yo. I know. For the record, I got everything that I wanted and needed from a man in Costa Rica. Thank you very much. We had a little misunderstanding. It's a bump on the road. It's part of a relationship. As far as I'm concerned, life is pretty good. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, this is more, now this is more like. You look good, baby. <laughs> I put down. 
outfit on because it's the end of the year and there's a lot to be grateful for. One of the people I would like to thank here tonight Cynthia Pacheco. I think that was June when somebody handed you a mic and you asked me if you were the best relationship that I've been in. here to ask you the same thing. Is this the best relationship you've ever had? I love you, Daddy. What? Of course. Prove it to me. This is the part where you get up and come to the stage. Listen, it's been a long road, but I think I finally understand that if I want to keep my family together, I got to take a leap of faith. Though you may feel like we get lost for a little bit, never think that I have lost track of what you mean to me. Morning, Papa. Cynthia Pacheco, will you marry me? I want to spend this life and my next life with you. Yes. This is the right thing, baby. <laughs> I just want to be honest, I just want to be honest. Perfect proposal from my perfect man, Joseph, I love you. Joseph.